Once considered rare and spectacular birds of wild places of northern and western Britain, peregrines are now found over the whole country, with numbers recovering from long-term pesticide and persecution-related decline. Birds are certainly still very much a feature of moors, mountains and coasts, but they're also frequently found in our most urban areas, forsaking rocky crags for the canyons and cliffs formed by our buildings, with many cities' cathedrals now boasting a resident pair, and often these urban birds can be watched via webcams or, for real, from designated watch sites. There are about 1,500 pairs of peregrine in the country now, and many of the upland breeding birds move lower down for winter, often haunting estuaries, and birds can be encountered pretty much anywhere then. Birds of prey, generally, are one of the hardest groups to identify in the field. One of the most important things is being prepared to accept that there will be birds you cannot identify, and this certainly holds true with peregrine. Distant views are a big cause of this difficulty, and many raptors, including peregrine, soar at great height. There are four falcons regularly encountered in the UK and Ireland. Kestrel, Hobby, Merlin and Peregrine and the trick is being able to separate peregrine from the other three. Falcons generally should be reasonably straightforward to separate from other raptors. They invariably have pointed wingtips and neat silhouettes. We cover kestrel in another workshop, but these should be readily identifiable with their long tails, brown coloration and hovering behavior. Merlin and hobby may prove more tricky. Timing is important. In winter, it is not going to be a hobby, as these migrants will be in Africa. Deciding on potential confusion species for peregrine is partly going to depend on where you are and at what time of year. You will rarely have to consider both Merlin and Hobby. All three of these species show grey uppers, pale beneath, with a characteristic falcon shape. In books, the most obvious difference is size, but this can be of little use in the field where direct comparisons or even an impression of size can be lacking. So what other clues can we use to help us? As a child, before I had even seen a real peregrine, on learning about the speed and agility, I had imagined that they would be lithe, slim and athletic looking. In reality, however, peregrine speed comes from sheer power and the most helpful feature of peregrine in the field is its build. Far from being the proverbial racing snake, peregrines are muscle bound and surprisingly stocky. They have broad based wings, relatively short tails, barrel chests and apparently heavy hips being thick through the rump and tail. Even from a long way off, peregrine shows an even dark colouring above, grey in the adults and dark brown in young birds, and pale below. The white cheek contrasting with the dark broad moustachial stripe is often particularly obvious. Another very useful feature, if the light is right, is the gentle graduation in the grey of the adult upper parts, from the wing and tail tips to the paler rump and tail base. Finally, peregrine often soar with a characteristic straight line across the trailing edge of the wing, often paralleled by the inner part of the forewing as well, giving two straight parallel lines. This straight-winged posture also gives rise to a stiff-winged, almost fulmer-like flight pattern at times. Despite the fame of their hunting stoop, and if you ever see it, it is unmistakable, Peregrine is just as likely to hunt low and fast, especially on open habitats such as estuaries. It is not unheard of for two birds to hunt cooperatively, with one flushing prey with a high flyover and the second bird coming in low and fast. Merlin, in shape, is probably the most similar despite the huge size difference. Again, along with Kestrel and Hobby, this is a species we have looked at in detail in another workshop. As in that, the main feature of Merlin is the flight characteristics. Dashing low flight, following every twist and turn of their prey, and, when hunting, an almost thrush-like camouflage flight. Females and young birds are more likely to be confused with sparrowhawk on their coloration, but the grey male differs from peregrine by the plain grey overall, with contrasting dark grey wingtips and tail band, subtly different to peregrine. Likewise, the facial markings on Merlin are nowhere near as striking as on peregrine. And finally, Hobby. Again, a very different flight style, and, unlike all the others, conspicuously dark beneath. The silhouette is different as well, approaching the sleek, slender view of a fast falcon, 
with long narrow wings, narrow body and medium length tail, giving a sickle shaped bird in flight. So for Peregrine, remember a large stocky bruiser of a bird driven by powerful muscles and this should help you pick this species out from the other falcons.